Okay, we're just doing a quick little comparison today. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. And now the extended outlook for the period. And we're looking at VHF antennas, specifically three different types. And those types, first of all, these are all NMO antennas. Um, and those types are quarter wave, We've got a quarter wave right here, this is your standard stainless steel quarter wave, this is a tram, um, it's got the actual, you know, solid piece of metal there, some of them just have like a little, there are lower quality versions of them out there, but actually, I've never come across one that didn't do the job. Um, these are cheap, and they actually withstand a lot of abuse and they work well um, this is a quarter wave um, this is another quarter wave uh, this is a Larson uh, radio Larson I don't know if you can see that or not it says Larson right there uh, this is a super heavy-duty one you can see the whip is much thicker they do make a, um, a, a stainless steel version of this with the stainless steel spring and they make a version without the spring that's also you know, either black or stainless steel. And you can actually just take the spring out and, and run this without the spring. But the spring is, is really taut, so it's really not going to move around. Um, but uh, this is also a quarter wave. And um, same, same, same deal. A quarter wave antenna is going to give you a unity gain, um, which is no gain over a dipole. Or it'll give you 2.15 dBi gain, which is gain over an isotropic antenna, which is a mathematical model antenna, an antenna that does not exist in reality. So a dipole has 2.15 dBi, or dB gain over an isotropic antenna. A better expression of gain for practical purposes is dBd, or dB gain compared to a half-wave dipole. A quarter wave antenna, when mounted on a vehicle, effectively becomes a half wave dipole with the second half, the ground plane or the counterpoise, being the steel body of the vehicle. And there's your Chevrolet sedan vehicle. Um, the second type of antenna, and this is organized in a silly way. Uh, these are the quarter waves, um, is the half wave. And I've got two half waves here. I've got a Browning BR168 or BR168B or BR168S or BR168BS. Um, these are often advertised as NGP or no ground plane antennas. Um, And uh, the nice thing about the half wave is you can mount it on a vehicle that does not have a effective counterpoise or ground plane. But you can mount it on a vehicle that does, it'll actually give you um, about 2.4 dBd gain, or add 2.15 to that to get dBi. Um, the other half wave we have today here is a um, PCTEL MaxRad MHB5082 or MHB5082S if you have a spring on it. This one does not have a spring, which means it's a MHB5082. No, excuse me, MHB5802. Jesus. Um, it does not have a spring, which means it's the MHB5802 and not the MHB5802S. Uh, this is also a half-wave antenna and is advertised as a NGP or no ground plane antenna. If it had the spring, it would be effectively the same as this um, this Browning or tram antenna which has a spring and of course they make a stainless steel version of this and they make a black version of this and da 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 you know pick your preference um, I think both look good uh, you know on this car because it is kind of a dark colored car the black antennas actually look pretty nice but the stainless steel antennas look pretty nice too um, the third antenna we have here is a 5 8 wave um, this is a child's antenna. This is a child's antenna Viking, um, which is very much 
similar in a lot of ways, at least in, you know, um, appearances. We've got the loading coil, the coil down here. We've got a spring, big one, a nice heavy duty spring. And then your whip uh, to the Motorola Spectrum antennas. Um, I love this antenna. This is a nice heavy duty antenna. Uh, this is a 5 8 wave. The 5 8 wave requires a ground plane just like the quarter wave does. It will give you 3 dB D gain, 3 dB gain over a dipole antenna. Um, which is, uh, you know, basically times two. So, in the perfect world with no transmission line loss and a perfect match on your VSWR, it'll give you an effective radiated power of two. The uh, radiation pattern um, on a do uh, 5 8 wave antenna is generally flatter. Kind of think of like a donut on the horizontal plane. So it's focusing your signal towards the horizon, which is generally a good thing. Um, the quarter wave doesn't have that kind of directionality, and the half wave is a little bit kind of wonkier of a directional pattern, but for practical purposes, the performance of the half wave and the 5 8 wave is really, really similar. However, the advantages, the advantage conferred by the 5 8 wave is that gain, that directionality towards the horizon. It's really going to make a difference when it comes to fringe, weak signal work, um, and it's situations where there's fading. Um, if you want a nice, reliable VHF setup, I recommend the 5 8 wave. But a word of caution, these two, 5 8 and half wave, need to be cut the antenna has to be tuned to the frequency. Don't buy it, plug it in, and don't check it with an SWR meter. Um, yes, the 5 8 excuse me, the half wave and the quarter wave do exhibit significantly wider bandwidth. And I apologize, this needs to be cleaned off. Um, than the 5 8 wave does. But... You still need to actually check it with an SWR meter. First, we're going to do the Browning BR168. Okay, well, I'd have to do a part two here because I've lost my um, automatic. Uh, there we go. Much better. So both of these antennas are pulling in the same station, um, weather band station. Whereas the quarter wave was pulling in, or ha yeah, quarter wave was pu pulling in what sounded like two stations mixing into to each other. So there's a example of a little bit of directionality. Now here's the five eighths wave. Now before we go on, I want to make sure that. It's understood 
that the as these antennas are not optimized or tuned for 162 megahertz they're tuned for two meter amateur and the bottom part of the band band, so 151 megahertz So just for fun, and we're going to turn the power down because the battery is, the engine is not running. Okay, there's your SWR. That's on channel, MURS channel 1, 151820. So about 1.1. All right, let's go down to 1440000. Oh, 1.1 to 1. One four zero, one forty point zero zero zero. Look at that one point. Uh, what's that one point? Four, one point three. Still pretty damn good. Okay, let's go up to one five four six, which is MURS channel five. Okay, so we know it's going to be a little bit higher because we have to turn it up again. Ooh, that's not as good. Okay. One point six seven one point eight. Okay. One five six six two five. It's a marine band frequency. Yeah, it's gonna be higher. Ooh, two and a half. Okay, that's not good. Okay. So that's the um that's the five eight band. Let's check the half wave. Okay, we're gonna work our way back. Sorry about that, okay. So we're back to MURS1, 151820, which is where we started. One point one. Okay, so let's do one four four zero zero zero. One point five. One four six four seven five. One point five, one five zero 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 zero. One point one. Okay. One five four six zero zero. It's gonna be a little higher. That's still 1.6, 1.7. That's still not bad. So then we'll do one six. Oops, one five six. Well, actually, we'll do one five seven four two five. That's uh, VHF Marine Channel 88. If you're following along, yeah. So it's a little bit, a little bit broader, broader banded than the five eighths wave, but it's also tuned. For, uh, let's use the Larson. That's just the behemoth of a 5 8 wave, or excuse me, of a quarter wave. Yeah. 
All right, so we're still on 157425, which you may remember the other antennas gave us a pretty bad SDBR reading on. One point three five. Okay, let's do one five four six zero zero and your RS channel five. Let's just we want to do a cigar set first. And it's probably gonna be pretty close to one point three, one point four. Okay, let's try five one. One five one eight two zero and the RS channel one. Let me just calibrated it down a little bit. Just a few more. One point two five to one. One five one five zero five. A little bit closer to 1.2. All right, let's do one five zero 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 zero, and it's going to be even better. Yeah, one point. That's just under 1.2 to one. One four seven five five five, which is one of the simplex frequencies on two meters. That's about a one. About a one point. Four, just under at 1.4. Okay, one four four zero zero zero. And one point six, one point seven, one four zero 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 zero. Yeah, it's not one point two. That's not bad. One three seven zero two five. Will my radio even transmit this low? Whoa. Not expecting it to give me a decent. Wow, 1.25. So 137 to 154.6. Is, is, I mean, that's insane. So let's do one. I say 137, let's do 157.425 again. So that's 20 megahertz. Yeah, okay, so that broadbandedness is not matched with the half waves and the 5 eighths wave. So the other advantage to the half or to the quarter waves um, is the directionality. So um, if you live in a hilly area where your vehicle might be pointing not towards the horizon or you know the horizontal plane might be to pointing not towards the horizon then your directionality is actually going to hurt you so yeah you know you might be running a comet or a dual band antenna or you know some crazy gainy antenna but you know have a have a quarter wave for operating in the city um these things are cheap and they work really well for a lot of purposes um yeah, but that's it for now. Um, too long-winded, and this video is getting close to 20 minutes. So, um, you know, let's go back to 151820 and set the SWR. Yeah, so that's almost perfect. Point two five to one. That's on one four six four seven five one four four zero zero zero. Wow. All right. One four seven five five five. That is awesome. One. I do one five four six zero zero. So that's not perfect, but it's also, you know, doable. Um, 
But there you have it. Uh, half wave, quarter wave, and 5 eighths wave antennas for VHF. So don't underestimate the quarter wave, but also get a 5 eighths wave. And this was done with a ground plane, by the way. Um, just, you know, I don't have a non ground plane set up to do a, <clears throat> a test for the half wave antennas, but that's a, that's a test for another video. And uh, we can also look at dual band antennas. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching.